Everyone, this is my nephew Marcus. He's new in town. He's staying with me until he finds a place. He is 31. You're a terrible hype man. <laughs> and you must be Gina. I heard a lot about everyone. Uh, take it, your Amy, Rosa, Terry. I'm Jake. We're both Jake. Scully and Hitchcock. <laughs> hey, well, just came to get the keys from my Uncle Ray. Let everybody get back to work. I nice mean, what? Bye. Holy Moses. Bye? What? For you, that's basically walking up to him and jamming your tongue down his throat. Shut up. Yes, Gina, that's enough. You're right, sorry. Too far. Well, let me just add one little thing off topic. Rosa wants to bone your nephew. You wanted to see me, sir? I have a seat, Diaz. You remember my nephew, Marcus, the 31-year-old? He asked me to ask you if you are single. I told him I'm not a third grade girl with pigtails passing love notes. Yeah, it's so immature. Precisely. It's embarrassing. Agreed. I am single. Oh, I see. But if Marcus wants my number, he can ask me for it. But who will tell him that? Marcus, you leaving? Come, have breakfast with us. Yeah, Bradley. Okay. And Detective Diaz is here as well. Hey. Hello, Kevin. Rosa, Marcus. Kevin, Uncle Ray. Marcus. And Cheddar. Cheddar is also here. Uh, would you care to join us? Sure. Shall we sit? I don't think sit. Good, then feel no obligation to stay, Rosa. Detective Diaz. Detective Rosa Diaz is in my breakfast nook. So, who would like French toast? I can put a bacon smile on it. My being here is weird. This was a bad idea. We shouldn't see each other again. Wow, well, Detective Rosa Diaz has left. Hmm. This is a symbolic gesture. I'm speaking to you as a friend, not a captain. And as your friend, I have this Brazier you left behind in Marcus's room. Also, I just wanted you to know, um, I, I think Marcus is great and, uh, and you're great. And I hope the fact that you and I work together won't prevent you from dating, if that's what you want to do. I might, but I don't want to talk to you about it. Perfect, because I'm not comfortable knowing about it. Great, then let's never talk about it. Let's never talk about anything. Done. You wanted to see me, sir? We have a situation and it's bad. Check your email. No. Yes, Kevin insists on you and Marcus joining us for dinner at our house. But we agreed to keep our personal and professional lives separate. It is weird enough I am dating your nephew without dragging your husband and dog into it. You think I want this? Because I do not want this. Sadly, Marcus and Kevin can be held off no longer. Okay, so what's our play here? My stomach's a little off. I could say I'm sick. Well, I've used a sick excuse for you eight times. I think they're catching on. You could say you're sick. No one would ever believe that. No, this is happening, but don't worry. I have a plan to keep things from getting too personal. I'm inviting some intimacy buffers. Dinner party at your house? Oh, mama. I will be there. All I ask is that you clear the furniture out of your living room so I can show Kev some of my new dance opera. Why just some of it? Do the whole thing. Yes, nothing would make me happier. See you Thursday at 8. Marcus, Detective Diaz, what a surprise. I didn't expect you for another nine and a half minutes. See, told you it was rude to be early. Well, let's cancel the entire evening and try again next year. <laughs> she is hilarious. Thought you might need some help setting up. Oh, I'll put these in some water. Thank you. Marcus, you can help with the buff bourguignon. I sub shallots for onions in the mirepoix. No, are you kidding? I have no idea. I'm sorry, we're screwed. I should just break up with him. No, 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 no. Santiago is always on time. We only have to make small talk for... Eight minutes and 45 seconds. We better keep it impersonal. Acceptable topics include what constitutes a grain, the Hubble Space Telescope, orchid varietals, the birth of the transistor. We only have to fill eight minutes. Sure, but think about it as 480 seconds, and you'll see why I'm concerned. Oh, my god. Amy says that we should start dinner without her. Then she writes whatevs, colon, hyphen, 
Close parenthesis. Great. It's much nicer than just the four of us. I mean, we can really get into it. Yeah, let's do just that. Um, so, Marcus, what uh, orchids can you name? Oh, that's easy. None. Uh, well, here are the orchids that I can name. Baclardia, Belagladis, Benthamia, Diphylax, Dipodium, Evotella. Uh, Raymond, uh, you know how much I love hearing you talk about orchids. Great. Then there's Arianxis. Uh, but I would love to hear more about our guest. Rosa, tell us about your family. I have one. Oh, you got to give her more detail than that. Her father's a teacher. They're from Bensonhurst. Speaking of which, have they finished repairing the Hubble Space Telescope? Yes, six years ago. So, do you have siblings? I have two sisters. I have to leave this. Great idea. Take a breather. That was way too personal. No one needs to know you have sisters. New topic. The moons of Jupiter. I think I might be pregnant. Oh. 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 No. Are your bosoms tender? I'm gonna pretend that you didn't just ask me that. Are your senses? Heightened. I think I might be pregnant, not bitten by a radioactive spider. <sighs> Kevin asked me about my sister. She just told me she's pregnant, and that made me think. I've been feeling run down lately. My stomach's been weird. I just did the math in my head, and I think I'm a little bit late. Late to, uh, oh, right, right, you're, um. What if I'm pregnant? Do I tell Marcus? What do I do with a baby? How do you take care of those things? Why are their heads so soft? Before you spiral anymore, you should take a pregnancy test. Yes, smart, immediately. Oh, immediately, immediately. Uh, very well, I'll figure out a way to get you out of here without arousing suspicion. Now I'm regretting blowing through my orchid material so quickly. Oh no, are you certain we have to cut the party short? Uh, yes, unfortunately, Detective Diaz has an unexpected emergency to take care of. All right, uh, do you need to go as well? No, it's not quite captain worthy, but still advanced enough that Detective Diaz's talents are best qualified to handle the, um... Non-emergency emergency. Yes, precisely, see? <laughs> She's great. I should go do that, now. Yes. Captain. Detective Diaz? I'm not pregnant. I see. I just wanted to say thank you. Talking to you was really helpful. Maybe mixing our personal and professional lives isn't as disgusting as it sounds. Yes, I agree. And I'm glad I could help. Now let's never talk about... Stop pointing at it. Yes, of course. Um, dismissed? Guess I should be getting back. Uncle Ray, thank you for loaning me your best detective for lunch. My pleasure. Of course, she is entitled to 45 minutes as per her union contract. Okay, well, <laughs> great to see you. Bye, babe. A minute, Detective Diaz. What's going on with you and Marcus? What are you talking about? Your shoulders tightened when he said, baby. Your nostrils flared when I asked what was going on with the two of you. And you have sag veneer on your sleeve, which, given your aversion to Indian cuisine, suggests you let him choose the restaurant. Why would you do that? Kindness. Pity. You're about to break up with him. Damn. You are good. Mm -hmm. Things aren't working out. I don't want to talk about it. I regret the words we've already spoken. Listen, I know I probably shouldn't get involved, but Marcus is my nephew, and... I hope you'll let him down gently. Don't worry. I don't want things to be awkward. I'm gonna send him a text while he's sleeping that says, we're done. Clear, accurate. But do you feel like it's enough? We're done. Goodbye. Yes, that should do it. You wanted to see me? I told Kevin about how I approved of your strategy for breaking up with Marcus, and he said that we were, quote, sociopaths, unquote. So you're gonna leave him? No, I think he may have a point. You might need to do more than simply text. A long, drawn-out breakup is just going to end in a big scene and Mark is crying. He has so many emotions. It's just so beautiful how much they love each other. It's a commercial for a refrigerator. Yes, it is daunting. But I did some research on amicable 
breakups. I visited www.ladiesgoodhealthmag.com backslash sex hyphen relationships backslash 8675999904 backslash 9432 ampersand 20.html. Do you know that site? No. Well, apparently it is less painful if you acknowledge the dumpy's feelings. Ew. But don't worry, we'll practice. Hmm? I'll be Marcus. Go. <clears throat> Marcus, I think we should break up. That makes me feel sad. I'm sad. Your sadness is noted. I feel acknowledged. Thank you for breaking up with me. Mm. It will take me eight minutes to collect my things. I think that went very well. Mm. Oh, you're back. How did the breakup go? I tried to acknowledge his feelings. It wasn't easy. There were a lot of them. He's just so confused. He's so sad. Are you climbing out the window? No. I climbed back in and we talked about emotions for 20 minutes. Dear God. I know. But I think it went well. And at least there was no crying. Well done, Diaz. I'm actually really glad you made me do it this way. I got to tell him that even though it was ending, it was incredibly meaningful to me. And I'm going to miss him. Oh, no. This is exactly what I didn't want. You crying? I deserve that. Thank you for coming, Diaz. I want to apologize for yesterday. Inserting myself into my employee's breakup with my nephew somehow uh, backfired. It's not your fault. I'm the one that made us seem like a dumb crying baby. I'm considering having my tear ducts melted shut. It's not the end of the world to feel things. I guess not. It's up there. The thing is, I really cared about Marcus, but he wanted to get married and I'm just not ready for that. And if I'm not ready with a guy as great as Marcus, then what if I'm never ready? What if that was it, my one chance of love? What if I never get a second chance? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just sad. Well, I, I understand. It must be very difficult. Wait, are you crying? Yes. Thank you for acknowledging my feelings. Thank you for acknowledging mine. We're both great at this. 